Greetings everyone, your local shenanigamer coming to you from Space Engine and not too far in the future, Universe Sandbox 2. But the thought for today's video revolves around exploding stars and the speed of a photon. But before we dive into that topic, don't forget if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and why not hit that notification bell as well so you can stay up to date with all the comings and goings of this hopefully entertaining channel. So anyway, let's go back to exploding stars, shall we? Now, the thought crossed my mind and I've seen it pop up in comments across a number of videos about what if our sun exploded. And I'm a big fan of the phrase, nothing's impossible, but can be highly improbable. And it's highly improbable that our sun will explode. But if it did, when would we know about it? And when I mean we, I'm talking about you and I, the average Joe out there. There's a whole army of very intelligent scientists with a fleet of amazingly technical equipment monitoring the sun. But if you were to look up at the sun, when would you and I know if the sun exploded? And just to kind of throw some facts at you, the sun is one astronomical unit away from the earth, which is about 149.6 million kilometers. And a photon of light leaving the sun would take around eight minutes and 20 seconds to reach the earth. But before we dive into some other thoughts, I wanna just drop this, in my mind, beautiful thought as well. If you glimpse the sun, hopefully through protected eyewear, just remember this fact, that you're looking at a photon of light that took eight minutes and 20 seconds to travel across the emptiness of space from the sun. But that photon of light started at the core of the sun and it takes many thousands or even up to a million years for that photon to get from the core to the surface to begin its journeys. How cool is that? to imagine a photon of light goes through that epic journey. So, let's see this within a simulation. Now, we're back in Universe Sandbox 2, looking down at our solar system in real time, as I record this. And, uh, yeah, I think things are gonna get messed up just a little. So I'm gonna use two features within the game. And again, this simulation is limited to the way this uh, game interprets the mechanics. So we're going to initiate an explosion and at the same time, we're going to initiate a pulse of light. So we're just gonna pause and we're gonna have the game run initially at real time. So let's have a look at the pulse speed of light we engage that and then the explosion just going to leave everything on auto settings and we engage that as well now this should show both of the instances happening at the same time but you should see the pulse of light fly away so the Sun has now exploded and look at the photons of light just careering away from the explosion you can see the dark mass in the center. Now light travels at a constant speed of approximately 299,792.458 kilometers an hour. So as I said earlier, it should take approximately eight minutes, 20 seconds to reach the surface of the sun all the way to the surface of the earth. Now, the sun's exploded, but those photons of light moments after the explosion have yet to reach our eyes. So potentially scientific equipment will detect it much sooner than us. But for the likes of you and I just walking on the street, the sun shining above us, the sun is still there when in fact, 
it has actually exploded. That kind of plays with my mind a little bit. And if you look up at the night sky, in essence, the same mechanics are there as well. We're reliant on the speed of light. So those photons of light that travel from those distant stars travel at almost 300,000 kilometers an hour. So we're looking back in time. And still, as this simulation runs, and I'm speeding up time here, the general public walking around doing their day-to-day -day chores, watching YouTube, watching channels like mine, still don't know that the sun ceases to be. And there is a massive front approaching. So the time we started this simulation was 10.16. So we should see the first photons hit the Earth at 1024, which has just happened there now. So right now, we're starting to see the very beginning of the explosion. So a lot of the natural light will completely diminish to be replaced by an ever-growing monster that is a solar explosion. So things happen in real time all across the universe but this is just showing the vast distances that even within our own solar system it actually takes for us to visually see anything and that's why we rely on a lot of other spectrums and analysis when we're looking at scientific study of the cosmos so i'm going to let the simulation play through just to show you the effect of this solar explosion on the Earth and Moon. So the forces from that explosion are going to start to rip the chemicals in the atmosphere from the Earth and from the Moon. And in this simulation, we should start to see the overall mass being re reduced as that explosion rips the rest of the material from Earth. Be interesting to see actually if the Earth or Moon goes first. I would predict the Moon but it should be cool to see nonetheless. So you can see the massive temperatures involved here from that explosion. And eventually, it will reduce and reduce and reduce to the point of non-existence. And I know a lot of these videos end up with destruction, but they're not negative videos. They're more of what if, they're more and hopefully my intent is thought-provoking for you to dive into the science and mechanics behind these and to spark your interest to look at other phenomena that happens above us every single day with hundreds of millions and billions of stars above us you know the possibilities are boundless so as we wrap up for the day i hope you enjoyed that video and I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to join me on this little flight of fancy. And uh, as always, your support is greatly appreciated. I hope you have a great rest of the day. And don't forget, you can support the channel by liking and sharing this video. And if you're so inclined, there's a Patreon link below that you can support the channel even more so. I've been your local Shenanigamer and I will see you in the next video. So take it easy and goodbye. <music>